Hello gamers and welcome back, I'm Rob of course, or Warshack if you want to call me by my in-game name and we're logging into our free-to-play account as we know there's uh, the daily login rewards uh, a week before the new expansion is gonna hit, um, so it's pretty exciting, um, so we should, yesterday I believe it rewarded gold and then the day before that, or today it rewarded this pack, um, so we'll go ahead and we'll open up the pack that we got today and then if you remember the last episode we got a pack from Arena, but we chose not to open that pack um, due to the fact that our RNG was was just so off the chartly bad um, so hopefully this pack right here this was our last arena pack so I'm feeling something I'm feeling nothing <laughs> we got two hog choppers you got me fucked up abyssal enforcer is good and so is Fellfire potion so these two cards are good these are kind of worthless so at least we got two good cards out of the deed if we're gonna play like control warlock that is but meanwhile um, I'm probably gonna push to play some form of like Jade Druid or Jade uh, Jade uh, Jade Druid, Jade Shaman, or Jade Rogue, um, because the Jade decks are, as we know, pretty powerful, and they're fairly cheap to build, so um, I'm going to be aiming to do that. And I believe we did left, uh, leave off on going 0-3, because we were uh, we were drinking a little bit, we were being a little frisky dingo, and uh, we didn't do too well. But then we built the Shaman deck, which I remember being semi-good. Um, it had a couple jades, no jade lightnings, but it did have jade spirit, it had a 4 drop 7-7, seven, seven, a chieftain, it had hex, uh, feral spirit, maelstrom portal, 2 jade claws, um, so we could probably go pretty far with this shaman deck, like I think I said at least 5 or 6 wins last time, um, so ideally we should be able to do fairly well, and then we'll probably be hopping to um, some ranked play, we'll get to rank 20, or 15, I don't remember where our last goal was, I think we're like 18 right now, so maybe 20, or maybe 15 was the goal. And we'll take a look at our um, our dust and whatnot, and we'll see if we can craft uh, craft any jades. And if we want to go with like Jade Shaman or Jade Druid or Jade Rogue, I kind of feel like playing Jade Rogue just because it's different. Seems like a cool deck to try to get to work on a budget-based deck. Most of the cards are pretty cheap, to be honest. Like we would need the. Um, oh, Unearth Raptor. Yeah, that's a that's an adventure card, and that's almost. That's a hundred, almost 100% needed. So we could go with the Tunnel Trog or the Argent Squire. Against, against Warlock, I think the Squire is best. And then turn... We know we're coining into this on three, which means the next turn we're just going to probably be playing either the Squire or the Hero Power. So I kind of like starting off with the Tunnel Trog, to be honest. Because if we need the Hero Power, like let's say this attacks a 1-1. One, one, or like a 1... Oh, no. <laughs> How unfortunate. Okay. Ooh, Devolve could be actually really good here. Because we do have two Devolves in the deck, and this needs to live. For, so when we coin into Faceless, we could coin into the Sun Cleric. This goes to a 2-4. We make this trade here, and then we have these two on board. Then this can't be played for two more turns. Uh, or we could just go ahead and Devolve, and this will probably turn into a really not so swell one drop. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to Devolve, and we're going to make the trade. That worked out really nice. And now he's going to play a decent 3-drop. We coin. This gets buffed up. This trades into the 3-drop, and we're all happy. Yep. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Do you even know what I'm saying? This is like a... Uh, everything but these two cards in our hand is basically a, <laughs> a, uh, a ladder shaman deck. Because uh, some shaman decks play the Argent Squires. Tunnel Trog, of course, is important. And the 4-drop 7-7. Seven, seven. I mean, there's not many classes that can deal with this guy. There's not many at all. So we're just going to play our Squires. This goes here. And uh, we're basically only weak to a Hellfire. And if not, we can actually go ahead and Brewmaster um, this back to our hand after we attack with it. So it goes. we can play it again for full HP. So it's not at 3 anymore. Or we could go ahead and just heal it. Oh, what is he going to hit with it? Shadow Bolt. Okay. That's unfortunate. Ooh, so we could go with the Evolve next turn if we want to Shattered Sun Cleric this. But I'm not going to do that. We're just going to play our biggest minion, attack face with what we've got, and uh, we'll, we can do other things. We can go like Shattered Sun Cleric Hero Power and do other stuff next turn. We can even go Brewmaster, but then this has to return a minion, so it's really not that good. If you could play without having to return a minion, then it's just a 4-drop 5-4 five four with the option to return a friendly minion. But you're actually forced if you do have a minion out, which isn't the best thing. Alright. Argent Commander. 
Unfortunately, we can't Arjun Commander trade. We can trade. Hmm. What do we like? What do we like? We could trade this and then evolve, of course, after we Shattered Sun Cleric. But, like, we're buffing and making a 2-2 two -two with Divine Shield, and then we're just making it into a 2-drop, which is probably not as good as a 2-2 two -two with Divine Shield. This goes to a 6-drop, and um, it takes away the damage. Yeah, I really don't mind evolve, I suppose. We must cleanse the sun well. Evolve could be good. So this goes here, this goes face, this goes face, we hero power, and then we evolve. This is pretty underwhelming. So our, uh, yeah, this is pretty bad. This is much weaker, or at least the same power level as the board we just got rid of. It's uh, the risk we take. But then again, we just got two two drops. So these two two drops are good. This is a bad one. It's probably one of the weaker six drops, and this is probably a pretty weak four drop. But at least it's a six three instead of it being like a like a two two or a two three. A uh, mini fridge just turned on, so I'm gonna go unplug that real quick. It's always the mini fridge, man. Every episode, I swear, we always have to unplug this bad boy. And he always turns on at the worst times, too. He always turns on, right, like, within the first couple minutes of starting an episode. And he's off for hours at a time. Like, let me tell you, this guy sits off all day and he waits for that prime time. It, it's the, it's really the strangest thing. It's, it, it honestly is a very strange thing. So... We could trade here, this goes to two, we play around AoE. We could trade our six in, trade our two one in, play around AoE. I really don't mind playing around AoE. This can trade here. I like keeping the divine shield on the guy. Plays around Hellfire. We could have traded our two one in, kept this guy at three HP, but I value the two the two creatures over the one. Bog champ! We've got hex for that. Bog champ! <laughs> we could devolve it, but Hex does the job. We could even return this guy back to our hand uh, to get the ability from him, but I'm not really worried about it. I'd rather be able to put the um, this guy back in my hand. So let's say he like AOEs, we attack with four, we brew master, we bring him back, and we play him again. We have to have ten mana though, so we're one mana off. Not that that would happen, but hey, he's got brew master too. A brewmaster for me and a brewmaster for you. I'm pretty tired today. I don't know why. We got plenty of sleep. We might have overslept. That's possible. I know that's possible, but it's just so weird. Like, one would think if you, like, sleep a lot, you would feel better when you wake up. But after you sleep for, like, a certain period and then you wake up, it's as bad as not sleeping enough. It's, how does that, it's, why? It's like, why would that ever be a thing? The more you sleep, the more you should charge. The higher the charge, the more the energy, the more the energy, the better the videos. But no, no. Tom. All right, Tom, what do you got? All right, so against Tom, I think we put back everything but the Maelstrom. I like the Maelstrom, it's just a good card. He like gets too far ahead on board. He plays a bunch of two ones, one ones, three ones. I don't know. You know, we don't know what Tom does. Tom could be a very powerful priest. Fuck, stop yawning, Rob. Why? Oh my gosh, Northshire Cleric. This is like a tunnel trog opener, but for the priest. For the priest, this is. All right, well, we're going to hero power. Well, yes, we're going to hero power and just don't give me a one one. <sighs> Any other totem would have been fine because then he attacks then we could Jade Claws and evolve and get two two twos and the Jade Claws Now we can attack into here hero power this you gotta be fucking kidding me, man It's so triggering <laughs> I'm getting triggered at arena not a one one if he hits a one one I'll concede right now. All right That's twelve and a half percent chance that it would roll double one one He could also attack the Taunt Totem and then heal it back up. Oh man, he's got a good Evolve card. The Pantry Spider. I wish I had that. 
Unfortunately, we can't do what I want to do because we don't have enough mana. I was uh, really hoping that we could maybe like Maelstrom Portal Jade Claws kill this. Um, but if we just Jade Claws and evolve, there's no guarantee that we can actually kill anything. And then the two drops it gives us um, could be pretty bad as well. So we could just go with the uh, like a hero power Argent Squire evolve. Then we get three one drops. No. Let's do this. Let's go for something good. This is pretty bad. Oh, I don't even know what to do. Because this is going to set us back a mana crystal. This isn't a bad draw. This two drop. This two drop is just a 1-1. One, one. He's going to be able to draw more cards regardless. We had to push for something big there. We're already so far behind. He's got card advantage. He's got field advantage. He's got all the advantages. I mean, right now, let's say he attacks into the 2-3 and he Holy Nova's like, by golly gee gosh. He's got the synergies. He's got the synergies. And we're getting we're getting stomped on. I guess this would have been all okay if we can roll healing totem, right? If we can roll a healing or I mean not a healing totem. If we roll a spell power totem here, that's pretty good. It was worth the risk. It was worth the risk. It's not over yet though we still have good cards we still have the good cards because it would have killed the one two then our we could have swung our weapon into there and then we could have killed the norshire and it would have killed the other spider and that one three would be a one one it's crazy the difference of getting the hero power you want like it's just absurd right like 25 percent chance to basically like make a huge comeback <sighs> we can try it again. What are the options? Spiteful Smith. We trade, we trade. It's uh, not looking good. He's drawn three cards from this. Brewmaster. I guess we just play the... Uh, the highest power level card in our hand and not attack because it has the ability to maybe make our weapon what is it plus two attack yes this could be a four one i mean i doubt it's gonna live right because he has what four or five damage on board he's not he doesn't have that one damage priest has issue doing one damage unless he has like a holy over like a holy smite or something like that and then we have uh, the argent commander holy fire okay well, it takes up his entire turn, and he can't heal. And we killed one guy. We took two, three damage, but that's pretty... That's not really that big of a deal. Okay. So, we could play the commander. The commander trades here. This trades there. That really doesn't seem that bad. Um, it's the only play that looks semi-available to me. Gotta make sure they kill that North Shire Cleric, man. All right, so now we're back in it. He's not, we have 10, he has 10 cards, 11 on board. We have six cards, seven cards. So we just gotta get large cards advantage. Get, get, a, lot of, get a lot of value, basically. So we'll see what we can do. Maybe we can uh, Chieftain, we can Brewmaster the Chieftain after like it makes a trade or something. That would be pretty good. So we're gonna Chieftain next turn, and then um, Chieftain trades into like a 4-3 or a 3-something, I don't know. And then we return it back, play another dude, brings out a 2-2, we draw some Jade Claws, we swarm the board, he doesn't have a Dragonfire Potion. All right, so Hex is looking pretty pretty nice. <laughs> Hex was looking real, don't we have like three Sunwalkers or some shit, or was that our last deck? Yeah, that was our last deck, so we had three Sunwalkers. Crazy Sunwalker deck. Mm. So we could clear the board with like a maelstrom trade trade then we have five mana left over <sighs> Or we could hero power look for spell That's not a bad way or we basically could just use our weapon to take off the divine shield chieftain 
Chieftain's not a bad way to go. And just use the weapon to knock the Divine Shield off. Or we could hopefully roll Spell Power, get Maelstrom. That's the best bet is Spell Power, Maelstrom. Then we have four. No, we have three. And then we had Feral Spirit, but then we can't do Chieftain. So I guess we just do Chieftain and we knock off Divine Shield. And then ideally, let's say his Toad goes into the 2-2, two, two, and then his 4-5 goes into the 4-2. Puts it at 1. And then we can Maelstrom, because he doesn't heal it, because it doesn't matter, because he thinks our 5-5 five, five has to trade into it. That would be good. It's a risky play. But it'll pay off if he doesn't do the exact thing he needs to do. We'll see, we'll see. <clears throat> oh, that's, that's really bad. Okay. Okay. Yeah, all right. <laughs> okay. I can't, I can't, I can't, I'm not playing around epics in arena. That's not happening. So our only out is Hex. Because there's no way we can get past a 4-7 that's going to get healed every single turn. Um, I mean, do we even continue on? Hey, look, we got spell power. Do we even heal ourselves? Might just Brewmaster, right? It's the strongest card we have. But then we have to return something. I don't want to return anything. We go Fairy Drag and it just gets traded into. At least this takes a double trade. Yeah. We haven't gotten value out of the big game. The big game will be good. Like, you play Bog Champ or something last turn instead. That would have been really good. But he didn't play anything big. He just went wide with it. He just went, not, not wide, but he played a lot of, you know, single target buffs for his creatures. Stole one of our guys, made a trade, killed our six drop and our summon spell. Dealt with our uh, Jade Chieftain with no problem. Like, you don't play around that stuff in Arena. All right. Hex. Devolve is one that'll do it. Okay, so there's no way to heal our guy before the trade. Because I was thinking we could like maybe trade and then brewmaster it back, but we'd have to brewmaster first. This is going to draw him a card. This gains plus one attack whenever something dies. We have no way to deal with a 5-6. Um, I think we just go with the Brewmaster. And then do we play the Dragon? So if this trades here and kills it, this goes to three. There's, I think we play the Dragon. I mean, looking at our hand, we're going to be able to play the Water Speaker and the Feral Spirits on the follow-up. So, this should be okay. I mean, it's going to die, but at least maybe it'll take a creature with it. Man, he's drawn so many cards. <laughs> There we go. Got some value out of big game, Hunter. Nice. <laughs> Esu. Esu. <laughs> we have no card draw, though. We're just going to lose to value. <laughs> we got him with the Hunter, boys. Oh no, Holy Nova. No Holy Nova? You got a Holy Nova. Oh. Dude, this guy's deck is fucking ridiculous. 
Potion of Madness, Shadow of Madness. It's got some good stuff in there. Got some good good in there. That's how priest should be though. Like a like a constructed priest deck, right? A lot of mind control shit. But not an arena, man. That's too much for me. That's a little too much for me. <sighs> Why the fuck am I talking? After this, we gotta do some jumping jacks or something. I refuse to record another video. That's our third yawn. We're done. No more yawns. Alright. Do we just keep the curve? I mean, we keep Jave Claws 100%. Yeah, I think we just keep this, right? Because we can coin, play, overloaded play, so we don't need Cleric. So coin, play, overload, play. We're good. Bug champ! Bug champ! Oh no. Alright, so now it's coin jade claws. The plan has changed. The plan has changed. I mean, do we even need to coin it? We could just play this naturally next turn because we're gonna heal anyway. And then what would we do? We coin dragon into jade? Or we just coin Jade now. Then we play nothing next turn. Unless we draw a Squire. There's a pretty high chance we draw a Squire. It also forces him to have to hero power to kill the um the Jade Claws. Cause now he can't play a two drop. Oh he can, but he won't. He's just gonna hero power. He would be a ghost to play a creature. Unless it has more than three attack. <sighs> That's why I don't like coining Jade Claws. No one, no follow up for the one drop. I really didn't want him to play a one drop into a two drop though, and then us play our claws, kill one, and then just be behind the entire time, right? Ooh, another Jade Claws. If we can rip another 2-drop, we basically just win on the spot. Because we go Jade Claws, it summons a 2-2. Two -two. We kill his card, and we summon in two more creatures. I mean, that's just... What are you going to do about it? Even, like, one more Jade Lightning in this deck would have been so good. Why would you ever attack this? That doesn't make any sense. Every card we've played so far is like in a constructed shaman deck. Maybe I'm, maybe this deck is better than I thought. The problem is, I just feel like there's a lack of spells. There's just not enough spells. That's arena in general, though, right? It's just all minion based. Yeah, maybe we have a good deck. We just got unlucky. Sap. Okay. Do we suspect a trade? Nope. Face is the place with this one, cowgirl. Alright. <clears throat> what do we see? I feel like ignoring this, to be honest. So we could, like, Tunnel Trog, Jade Claws, and then we have three left over, and then we just go Pantry Spider. If we draw Evolve, that's just good. If we replay this Spite Mol well, Spiteful Smith... We'd have to double trade into this. This is at one, and then you could just kill it. So this is like, just better for board. So like, if we draw Evolve, it's just really nice. Set myself up for good draws. He's gonna wanna start removing the board because he knows he's gonna take way too much damage. We can't play Bog Champ next turn, but he's going on turns. I mean, this is his turn seven, right? So he's gonna play something we can BGH or not. That's uh, that's pretty annoying. That is pretty annoying. Chieftain was a good draw, but kind of hurts us. I really don't want to trade everything into it, so we're just going to trade these. Can't interact with this. I doubt he's going to attack pantries. He's going to go into the 4-6 and then swing his weapon into the 4-6. Then he still has to deal with these, and if not, Jade Chieftain comes down our bog champ. Jade Chieftain is better because it's wider. Doesn't get hit by sap, doesn't get hit by assassinate. This summons a 4-4 and the 5-5, so it's not as big as a body, but it summons two of them, so it's a little bit better. 
Like if we were playing against a mage, maybe Bog was better because this is weak to flame strike and he hasn't used a flame strike. Granted, he's not a mage, but if he was a mage and he hasn't used flame strike, then that would be something we'd think about. Huh. Lotus agent, huh? If you've noticed, the rogues have two, not the rogues, but the jades have two agents. They have this lotus agent, and then they have the other agent. And then we, when we did our rogue arena run with the reno, we had both agents out on the field at one time. And I was, I think I mentioned which agent was better. Is he just going to go face? Wow, he valued not taking that four damage to face. Very interesting play. Very interesting play. We have nothing with overload. So we'll have to trade trade and we have a four and a five which means we're not gonna do that so i guess we're just gonna go with the jade army this trades this trades we traded the wrong pantry spider it's better to trade this one because the other one has the battle cry and uh just in case he uses vanish then this doesn't summon another pantry spider so it was better to trade this one not the other one there's the assassinate which is why we didn't play bog champ Bug champ! Bug champ! <laughs> so I guess we just go wide, right? And we just push face. There's no reason to trade into the 5 forks. The 5 4 has to trade into our 4 forks as taunt. We've lost to this thing before. Fuck you. I don't know what it is with me and Deathwing, but I see that guy a lot. <laughs> I see that guy a lot. Whether if it's on ladder or in arena, I see that guy an exceeding number of times. I mean, it's good that we had our... Um, well, there was quite a few answers we had. We had Bog Champ, which provides us a turn. We could Bog Creeper into an Evolve, which could have bought us a turn. We have Devolve in the deck, which could buy us some time. We have Hex in the deck, which buys us some time. Um, so there's quite a few things in the deck that um, we'd be able to deal with uh, that. And we're halfway into it. So I would hopefully we draw one of those, right? But Jesus. I know one, uh, our last, does he even have a dragon? No. I was gonna say, if that one card in his hand is a dragon, that's pretty, that's pretty good. But we were lucky to have the BGH. This was good stuff right here. This was, uh, this was PogChamp BGH. Yes, you won't. Alright, guys, well, that's gonna wrap this arena up. I'm gonna go outside and, like, run or do something to try to, like, I don't know. First of all, I'm getting, like, it's weird. I, like... I was sick, and then I was unsick, and now I feel like I'm getting sick again for no reason, because I felt like I needed to sleep a lot. I've got, like, a minor headache. My sinuses are coming back, so I don't know what the hell's wrong with me or the weather or what is going on, guys, but I better not be sick when the new season hits because we got to grind our way to Legend ASAP. Um, so, as always, guys, I'll catch you in the next episode, of course. I'm Robert Warshak, and happy whatever the hell day it is.